Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Jovenal Narcisse. Have a good day. Today, we are going to unbox two items. One item was bought at the local store, which is the Signet store, located at the Power Plant Mall in Makati City, Metro Manila. And the other one came from the Iron Heart website or online store in United Kingdom. The item was sent through a package to my U.S. address in California, USA and sent to the Philippines through the Johnny Air Cargo Plus for water. Before the end of this video, I would like to briefly put these two items side by side and initially make some general description on similarities or differences between these two items. These items are the Wabash shirts, which have been very popular during the early days as a fabric in clothes used by people who work in the railways in the early parts of the 19th century when the western part of the United States were slowly connected with the eastern states through the railway system. They say that this kind of fabric was created by a certain Indian tribe in the United States and later adapted as fabric for workwear due to its comfort and durability against the harsh elements of the western frontier. The denim and the wabas fabrics were the most popular clothing materials then, as they are 100% made of cotton. The fabric is very versatile to any kind of season throughout the year, thus it is very accessible and affordable during those times. Wabash fabric is characterized with horizontal lines and stripes of indigo and white color on the fabric as seen from this shirt that I have here on my back. This is the Wabash shirt that I got from the Bensak denim developers. Let me bring out the Wabash shirt that I bought from the Signet store. I was surprised to learn that the store was carrying such item after I mentioned to one of the staff that I'm trying to look for such fabric in the internet. This Waba shirt is from the Flathead, which is made in Japan, and the weight of this fabric is 10 ounces per square yard. I was hesitant at first because the available size in the said store was medium as I'm usually size small in my work and western search. I was allowed to try it on and I was surprised that it fitted comfortably to my body. It felt like it was loose but I was advised by the store staff that I still have room just in case the fabric will shrink. However, with my experience with the flat head as my first Japanese salvage denim jeans, I am sure there will be no shrinkage. If not, it will be very minimal. The price of this shirt, Waba shirt, at the Signet store is 16,500 pesos. 16,500 pesos which is a decent price. Let me put this aside first and then 
I have here a package that I got from Ironheart. Uh, the usual green plastic bag. And we're going to unbox. And of course, the brown bag with the Iron Heart logo in front. I'm going to open it. I think I'm becoming an expert in opening this brown bag. I have here the usual, of course, the sticker. Nice. The care instruction for the fabric and the catalog for the 2022 products. And this is how it looks like. This is a work shirt. This will be my first work shirt from Iron Heart. Because the first one is the 20th anniversary uh, Western shirt of Iron Heart. One week after I purchased this item, I was surprised that, that there was there is another set of Wabash shirt in indigo and black were available already in their website store which is more expensive and that's only uh, $10 more than this shirt. This shirt is $295 and the newer one which is available on their online store is $305. This Iron Heart item on, and clothes are also made in Japan. The same with this, uh, the flathead item. However, this Iron Heart Wabash work shirt in indigo is with black buttons in 12 ounces per square yard as weight. The price of this shirt is $295, which is almost 18,000 pesos if converted to peso during the time that the peso and dollar conversion rate was more than 59 pesos to one US dollar. I ordered size small based from the size measurement table in their website and based from the size of my first Iron Heart Western shirt, which is 20th anniversary Western shirt ultra heavy flannel in sax color and in 14 ounces square yard in weight. I will now show you these two shirts side by side and try to find out the difference in them in terms of the color and texture of the fabric. Of course, since this is only 10 ounces from the flathead Wabash shirt, this is softer and of course lighter. And the texture is thinner, it's not thick. Yeah. As compared to the Iron Heart, of course, Iron Heart is 12 ounces per square yard in weight. This is thicker. The thickness is more substantial. And I think the color is lighter. 
this one is darker I uh, really don't know but this one looks good on the next video I will show you how these two shirts would fit to my body and it's up for you to judge which one is better in terms of fit and color to my body please make and write your comments down below of your choice and your personal observation on the said fabric and style of shirt. As you can see, the style of this, the flathead wada shirt is also a work shirt. With, with a pen slot and of course two pockets in front. This is size medium or size 40. This one is size size small. The next video we will see the fitting video of these two work shirts. One from the flathead and the other one is from the iron heart. Thanks for watching and have a good day. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. If you haven't clicked that notification bell, please click it for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.